All right, today, ladies and gents, I'm going to cover how to make a uh, semicircular double-headed arrow shape. So somebody had asked how to make this shape right here, and, um, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Basically, something very similar right here. The colors are a little bit different, but that's uh, neither here nor there. I'm going to go ahead and create a new document and start from scratch. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, use the ellipse tool. Now I've got this set to the radius creation, so I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and I've dragged some guidelines to the center uh, of my page here. So I'm just going to go ahead and use those, start right at the center, and drag it out and make a shape. Yeah. Um, the first thing I'm going to do to this is go ahead and give it a two-point line and take away the, uh, the, uh, um, the fill, because I don't really need that. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, square. I'm going to hold down the control key and create a square. And now I want to make sure that that lines up more or less with this. And actually, square might be a little bit off. I'm going to make that a bit more of a rectangle. Yeah, and I'm going to line that up exactly center. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this square or rectangle to cut out my... Uh, the, the bits from my circle. So I'm, I only want this to go from here to here around. So I'm, gonna, I'm just using this to, to, to cut. So I'm going to um, select both of them, or Control A, I could have done that as well, and say um, Arrange, Combine Shapes, Cut Shapes, or Control 4. That works too. Now I, now I have two shapes, really. I have this one and I have this one here. I'm just going to go ahead and grab that and press X. And now you see that this is cut into this. Okay. Now this still isn't quite exactly what I want, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and select the shape again and grab my shape editor tool, which is this one here, the shape tool or F4. And I'm going to select these bottom points here, that one. And I'm going to hold down the shift key and select this one here as well. So I've selected both points basically. Then I'm going to go up here and uh, click this button, which is break it points. Once I do that, I can click this section and just press Control X to delete it. Now I have my semicircular shape. Um, <clears throat> so the next thing I'm going to do is click it and move over to the straight line tool, and I'm going to add my arrows to this. Now I like uh, these, this first arrow right here. So I'm going to. This is the the head, and this is the tail. And right now these are very small, so you can't even see them. But I'm going to go ahead and give this a 48 point width. Now these are absolutely huge. We don't want them to be that huge, so I'm going to change this to about, I don't know, maybe 30%. Yeah, that looks quite a bit better. Now, um, if I go back to my the original drawing, you can see that these um, arrow points are kind of blunted. They're not they, they don't stretch out quite as far as the uh, as the ones here do. So first thing I'm going to do is click arrange, convert line to shape. Once I've done that, now this is an editable shape. And I'm going back to my shape editor tool and I'm going to take the point of one of those and I'm going to hold down uh, the shift key and I'm going to hit the up arrow twice and the left arrow twice. Okay. I might even do it one more time to blunt it a bit more. Yeah, and then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to select that uh, arrow point. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to go up three times and over to the right three times. Yeah, there we go. That looks much, much better. You can play with these a little bit if you don't like their their uh, um, position. I pointed. I pressed the arrow key down twice to uh, to uh, adjust the way those points look. Okay, so there we go. Um, I have more or less my shape, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a color. I'll use the standard colors here and just uh, select this light blue. The next thing I'm going to do is grab the 3D tool, click on it, and I'm just going to push backwards on it a little bit, push up towards the top, and that's going to, going to rock this back a little bit. Now, this is a little bit too high for my taste, so I'm going to wait until I get this um, diagonal arrow thing right there with the with the 3D shape, and I'm going to go ahead and scrunch it down just a little bit to get 
the the height of my uh, my 3D shape how I want it. <clears throat> and now this is a bit too rounded for me, so rounded is good on the edges because that's what it was uh, originally. But I'm going to change this to maybe just eight, eh, what do you know, ten maybe. Right, that gives it a nice slightly rounded um, bevel. And uh, there we go. I pretty much have my shape now. I can grab it and, and make it bigger or something like that uh, to to make it look exactly uh, like it was in the uh, in the original picture. And that's how you make uh, um, one of these 3D uh, double pointed arrow semi circular shapes. Hope that uh, was helpful and informative. And um, talk to you next time.